I'm gonna make hot dogs and eggs. If you've never had hot dogs and eggs, it's not too far off from having eggs and fried bologna. Depends on the hot dogs you use, of course. A little olive oil. I like to add some butter flavor too. Where's my butter? There we go. I mean, it's more of a margarine, but it should do fine. A little olive oil, a little bit of butter. This is margarine, so it'll add a little flavor. And got us here some turkey hot dogs, turkey franks. These are from Aldi's. Let me turn that dryer off. Right. That will make it easier to hear. So this is a simple recipe. What I want to do first is kind of just brown these hot dogs a little bit. They don't need it. When I was a kid, I used to eat hot dogs raw. And I don't know if that's terribly safe. This meat in here is pre-cooked. Since it's turkey, sometimes you have chicken hot dogs. Probably best to go ahead and cook it. Of course, you don't want to eat raw hot dogs often. That's gross. We're going to do a hot dog and a half to three eggs. How's that? I think they're all these. Maybe they're Winn-Dixie. Actually, I'm not 100% sure anymore. The heat's on medium. And just kind of get these hot dogs a little bit brown. They're originally from the Carolinas, and they used to do a lot of fried bologna and egg sandwiches up there. This reminds me of that a little bit. This is silicone spatula. It won't melt. These things will stand high heat. You get a pepper in here, just for a little bit of vegetable quality. I like these little sweet peppers. These guys are tasty, so I'm going to wash it off. And look at here. Get to watch me cut my finger off. Live video. Not really. All right. I cut the tip off. You got seeds in there. You don't want to eat your seeds. So I'm just going to take and cut the seeds like that. Dump that stuff in the trash and then rinse it out in the, in the sink garbage gobbler. The aerator in the sink. There we go that stuff out of the way. These hot dogs aren't quite cooking as quickly as I'd like. I turn the heat a little bit beyond medium. You know, slice these peppers up without slicing a finger. I do not have mad chef skills. Those guys on TV are like tap, 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 tap. No, I'm not going to try that. Not going to happen. You will see blood in my peppers. That'll be no bueno. Okay. That's enough pepper to give it a little flavor. Just like that. But I've got some Parmesan cheese to cut up. You know, I like good Parmesan. Adds a little zing. Mmm. Yum. Let's see. Very tasty. Mm-hmm. Gonna brown them a little bit just to add some flavor. The peppers are cooking a little bit. We're gonna add three eggs to the hot dog and a half. And this reminds me of in the Carolinas, when I lived in the Carolinas, they used to do a lot of fried bologna. You used to get a fried bologna sandwich, and it would have chili with no beans on it, and coleslaw, and you could put sliced onions on top, and ketchup and mayonnaise on a bun, and it was heavenly, just heavenly. So this reminds me of that a little bit. I'm pretty satisfied with this hot dog, how much it's cooked. A little bit brown, so we're gonna turn the heat down a little bit until I can get the eggs on there. Alrighty, that was a good shot. So the trick with eggs, I don't know the trick. I just try to visualize every time I crack an egg that I don't have eggshell in there. I don't like crunch in my in my eggs. Oop, see there there went a piece. So when I get some egg in there. A little piece of egg. Actually, the egg itself helps to pull that out. Okay? So that's a handy dandy trick so you're not in there trying to fish out a piece of eggshell. And there's definitely more professional ways to crack a freaking egg. But I just go for effectiveness, not looks. I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese. I do like to pop the yolk so it's not messy. Just put some salt and pepper on that. Not much. 
Once the egg's done cooking, I will use some smoked paprika. This is my magical ingredient to a lot of things I cook. So just adds a nice little smoky flavor to it. Little scent as well. Oh look, I found a few extra peppers from when I cut one the other day. Make sure, make sure it doesn't smell funky. It's been in the fridge a couple days, so I'm gonna add those peppers to my eggs. Why not? Value added. And I got the temperature just below medium. So this is not a sophisticated omelet. This is just turn the eggs to get the runny part cooked. We don't overthink this stuff. There's people that have to have their omelet just right. This ain't no omelet. This is eggs and hot dogs, baby. We'll keep cooking it. It gets runniness out. Some people like runny eggs. I do not. I like the yolk runny if I have toast and stuff like that. Well, you know what? Speaking of toast, let's make some toast. If you don't have a toaster, let's show you how to do toast without a toaster. You take some foil, I double it up so it's less likely to burn. Put it on the burner. A little bit above medium, okay? You don't want to get in too hot too fast. So I turned it down, I was getting red already. Take it, put it on that burner. Meantime, we can turn this egg over again. Oh, look at that. That's starting to look good. But it is cooked enough to get the running on. So I'm gonna take and put the smoked paprika on there. Mmm. All right, adds color, adds flavor. You know what, I'm gonna kick it up a notch. This would be onion powder. Go lightly on this, it's strong. The onion powder, a little bit more black pepper. Now, this is, this is cooking on the other side, getting rid of the runny, but I'm turning it off now because it's gonna cook with the heat on the pan. So I'm just doing that so it doesn't get too hard or too overcooked rather. Let's check our toast, not quite. Is it toast yet? It's not toast yet. It helps to move it around a little bit, so you do not burn it. I smell it burning though. Yep, there's a little burn right there. Right there. I'm gonna watch this. Okay, a little bit right there too. Corral, okay, by Corning. I've dropped these before from three, four feet without them breaking. They do break, but they're pretty sturdy and they're light. See smoke coming from the toast. Now, there we go. That's some good looking toast without a toaster. And some people like a lot of butter. Some people like a little. All right, that burner's off. This burner's being burned off now. Cause it's a little bit smoky. All right, that's not as toasty as I'd like it. So you know what? I'm gonna park it over there a minute without burning myself, hopefully. Take this one off because it is officially toast. It's a little more controlled than a science project or a little less controlled. I don't know. Maybe it's more or less, but don't put the butter on the hot burner like I did. That's no bueno. Keep the butter in your fingers off of the hot surface. This burner is really hot. That's moderately hot. So I'm just threading the needle here in between trying not to get burned. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There you go. Let's get the proper thing here, you know, the proper tool for the job. Isn't that lovely? So you can mix it up. If you're making this for someone else, you can keep your little paprika showing just for effect, for flair. I don't care. This, I got enough with a hot dog and a half and three eggs. These are, I think, large eggs. I got enough for a sandwich one morning before work. Enjoy, guys. Mm, 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 mm. That's amazing. Hot dogs and eggs. Hot dogs and eggs. Why don't more people eat this? What am I going to do? I'm going to put some all these street taco sauce next to it. Why? Because I can. Or if you have leftover Taco Bell sauce, whatever. But that's delicious. All right, time to eat. Ciao.